Well, welcome to the last bourbon hunt of 2023. We're gonna head up to Tennessee, in particular the Chattanooga area, and we've got several stores that we're targeting, hoping to find some limited and special releases, and may do a couple stops along the way for some special request bottles from uh, some of our subscribers. So come along with us as we head to Tennessee. Well, we're stopping along the way to Tennessee to see if we can get another one of those uh, James E. Pepper decanters. Our first one we found over here at Party Liquor, so we're going to see if they have another. We're getting it for one of our subscribers. Okay, well, I got with the owner inside, and he was doing inventory. Uh, he asked me to come back after the beginning of the year, and we could uh, video inside. But today, no luck, but bingo, we did find another James E. Pepper uh, barrel proof. Their decanter series, uh, apparently very limited. Uh, this is the only place I've seen it yet. So we scored another James E. Pepper. So, so far, so good. We're headed on to, uh, I think we're going to stop one more place before we head into Tennessee. We're at our second stop on our way into Tennessee in Fort Oglethorpe. We thought this would be a nice little uh, break before we head in for the major hunt of the day. So let's go inside and see what they got. Well, uh, we struck out at uh, Beverage World up here in Fort Orgathorpe. Apparently this store no longer sells uh, spirits, only beer and wine. And they referenced another store that they have in another location. I don't know if it's uh, convenient for us to go to, but we'll look it up in the meantime we're headed to Tennessee. Well, we're at our first stop in Tennessee, East Ridge Wine and Spirits. I've been here a couple months back and I know they carry the RD1. So we're here to see if they have any new RD1 that we haven't found before. So we'll see you inside. Okay, uh, we're in uh, East Ridge Wine and Spirits and we've given, been given permission to uh, show you what great uh, bourbons, uh, whiskeys, and rice they have. So we're going to go right to that section. Coming down here is our standard fares, for Jack Daniels, George Dickles. And look at that. Look at those Willets that they have. They've got the Family Estate single barrel in both the bourbons and the rice. Coming up here, We've got the single barrel barrel proof that a lot of people are looking for. And look at those four gates. Lots of four gates. And of course, we're in Tennessee, so what are we going to see? We're going to see Chattanooga. Some more Willet. Down through here are four roses. And a few brands that I just don't see up in Georgia. J.W. Kelly. This rare perfection, aged 14 and 15 years, I'm not familiar with that. Our Knob Creek. And look at all the new riffs. We just don't see a lot of new riffs in Georgia. And they've got quite a few varieties here. The straight bourbon whiskey, the single barrels, the rye, and a malted rye of all things. That's a reservoir. Down here. Smoke Wagons, Middle West Spirits, and this Dry Fly. I've seen this in Tennessee. I've not seen that in Georgia. Come up here. Short Barrels and Ingrams. Elijah Craig's. Larceny. Maker's Mark. Of course, Bullet. And Good Times. I had a good time just recently. And it was, uh, not seen it in Georgia, and it was delicious. I think it was this double oak honey. I'll have to look into that. But they've got the seagrass, the cigar finish, and a peach rye. Buttons. 
that one right there. That looks really interesting. From here on the end, we've got our Green River. Wild turkey. Kevin Williams bottled and bottled. On the end here, what did we find? The RD1. This is the Amberana finish. And we're going to pick up one of those while we're here. Yeah, excellent price, too. For High West. Got blinded. <laughs> dead guy whiskey. Now that intrigues me. <laughs> Who would name a whiskey dead guy? Duke. Hemingway Rye. And the Short Mountain. I've not seen that in Georgia. Neither are the Brittle and Bit. There's a kind of, there's several they have here that we just don't see it in Georgia. Bowman Brothers. They've got Legends up here. Legends is a local Atlanta store. Evan Jones. The Silas Jones. Coming down here, we've got quite a few barrel products. Some new loose. Rabbit holes. Which I like. We got our redemptions. And looky here. Give and take from Southern Collective. I've not heard of that one. I'm going to have to look into it. Rossville, some garrison. Can't go wrong with the Cooper's Craft. Wiseman, Stellum, that black label that people keep talking about. Penelope. I keep looking for the Valencia, and it's just not to be found. And on the bottom, we have the Rebels and the Very Old Bartons and some Blacken. And then Americana. I was just talking about the uh, Broken Barrel the other day. That Americana 100 for the money, that is some excellent bourbon. We got some of our boards down here. We got a, a Fusion, a Discovery, and a Collaborative. And the Collaborative is the... Uh, that's the Goose Island. I've heard about that. Simmons Cove, Basil Hayden's, there's our Angel's Envy, several Oak and Edens, Wild Turkey, Wild Turkey, Wild Turkey, Chicken Cock, Tin Cup, and Mellow Corn. I've never had Mellow Corn, but I've heard, <laughs> I've heard some wild things about Mellow Corn. That is a big ass bottle of High West. Wow. They got beautiful bottles. Going through here, Jim Beam. Woodfords. Heaven Hill. That's a good price. Old Forester. You just can't go wrong anytime you pick up an old Forester. Evan Williams bottled and bond. And the flavored. And down here on the bottom, we got our Nictors and Town Branch and Filibuster. I have been meaning to get a Filibuster, and I just keep finding other things I want instead. But I am interested in this Filibuster line. Let me know if you know anything about it. And there's your Bee's Knees from Short Barrel. A lot of people are saying good things about the Bee's Knees. That Blue Note Juke Joint, the Unfiltered Uncut. Fabulous buy for $45.99. And let's look at their store picks here. We've got Yellowstone. There's another short mount. Green Thumb. Bottled and bomb. There's a new one. Look at the price on that blue rail. It's fabulous. And there's that Good Times again. Chattanooga. Chattanooga Fire Fighters 
engaged. You should get some Buffalo Trace coffee while you're here. And would you look at these gift sets? Roller Quell with this old Kirk single barrel. We got a Square Perfection and the Eagle Rare. Four Gate and an Eagle Rare. And an Eagle Rare cigar gift set with a bottle of Eagle Rare. I've never seen that before. And some more gift sets they still have. Nice little four for gift set. Jameson, I West, Temple Rock. There's that Angel's Envy gift set I gave one of my co-workers. Pretty nice stuff here. And this is especially for Dave Vogelsang, who's loved Evan Williams eggnog. They'd come down here, they got these like gallon jugs for $20.99. Wow, did we score big time or what? Uh, if you're in the East Ridge area, which is really close to Chattanooga, you need to check out East Ridge Wine and Spirits. And get on their reward system, too. Man, they've got some nice allocated stuff. But uh, what did we get? We'll show you in the truck. But really, uh, really a great store. You should come down here and check them out. So what did we find at East Ridge? wine and spirits well first off like we said we got this rd1 amberana now i'm getting this for andrew of team bourbon he has been looking this, looking for this forever i've got so many amberanas it'll take me two years to drink through so this is for andrew and what was really exciting for me was to find something i haven't seen in any of the georgia stores uh you're familiar with marion eaves uh, she's a master distiller and blender and she's been involved with several bourbons and whiskeys over the years, several companies. And she has her own uh, whiskey or bourbon uh, distillery now. Um, and it's called Forbidden. And we found one. Very difficult to find in Georgia. And, of course, we didn't find it in Georgia. We found it in Tennessee, didn't we? So, uh, the Forbidden, it's a beautiful bottle. And I heard it's a very good bourbon. And we're going to find out real soon on a first pour series. But uh, this is our unicorn, I think, for today. Hopefully, we'll find some more. We've got some more shops to hit before we're through. 